Good Saturday morning, everybody. This is Steve Monday, Chief Forecaster for Rowan County Weather. Let's go ahead and take a look at what the Doppler radar is showing this morning. You can see we've got some isolated showers around the area. It could be some mist and drizzle mixed in there as well. And we could send you, uh, we could see that excuse me mist and drizzle uh, mixing in throughout the day and even into the uh, evening hours uh, as we go through the day today. It is going to be a very cold and kind of a dreary, damp day uh, off and on throughout the uh, day and into the afternoon. We will probably start to see less rain as we get into the afternoon hours, but the drizzle and mist could hang around uh, at least through uh, the early evening hours, which could have an impact on the tailgating and the start of the Charlotte FC match tonight. Uh, we'll continue to keep an eye on that, and I'll, of course, be there uh, to keep you updated there at Bank of America Stadium and, of course, provide uh, updates throughout the, the game and after the game as well. Uh, but uh, we'll go ahead and continue to keep an eye on things for you. Let's go ahead and take a look. I want to show you the model data. So if you're planning on heading to the Charlotte FC game tonight, and you may very well be, there's well over 60,000 tickets sold, possibility of over 70,000 fans being in, atten in attendance tonight. So uh, you could be there. But this is 3 o'clock this afternoon. This is the rapid refresh model. Here you see Rowan County, and it's uh, showing rain over Rowan County. Here's Charlotte down here where the stadium would be, obviously. And we're going to take you hour by hour now. This is 3 p.m., so you do see some isolated showers uh, in the area and, of course, uh, more widespread rain up toward the mountains. As we go to 4 p.m., you see rain starting to move into the Charlotte area, so it could have an impact on the tailgating and the pre and the uh, pregame festivities or pre-match festivities um, with some rain there. Uh, but, again, just light rain, uh, maybe – some moderate rainfall mixing in at times, uh, mostly drizzle probably as well. Uh, but again, no lightning or anything like that to be concerned with. So no concerns for that. As we head to 5 p.m., you see rain is still kind of in the area of the stadium and, and, and or just really around the area in general. As we take it out to 6 p.m., still looking at some isolated showers taking place there. And then by 7 p.m., all the rain is off to the east. Well, that's good news because the game starts at 7.30 p.m. So we may have some lingering mist and drizzle around. And as we continue to take you hour by hour through the times that the game would be taking place, you see the rain's totally gone at this point. So we're probably looking at, by the end of the game, uh, mostly cloudy skies with the potential for some patchy fog mixing in as well. So be careful on your on your way back home this evening if you do head out to the Charlotte FC game uh, this evening. Let's go ahead and take a look at the current temperatures around the county and the uh, see what we've got going on there. Salisbury coming in at 50 degrees this morning. China Grove, 49. Spencer, 50. East Spencer, 49. And Faith coming in at 49. Rockwell coming in at 50. Granite Quarry, 49. Landis coming in at 49. Gold Hill at 49. And Enochville coming in at 49 degrees this morning. As we take a look at those weather headlines, rain chances possible through the early afternoon. Otherwise, cloudy skies with a high and low to mid 50s. Winds are going to be out of the east at around five miles an hour, becoming light and variable by, variable by the afternoon. Mostly cloudy skies this evening with a low in the low to mid 40s. Patchy fog is possible. The Coffee Cast, sponsored by Willowbrook Grounds, your hometown coffee company. Uh, we're looking at cloudy skies this morning around 7 a.m. And again, cloudy skies by this evening. Uh, or this afternoon at around uh, 4 p.m. with 54 degrees for the temperature. Uh, it could be some isolated showers in there as well during these times. It's going to be just kind of hit and miss at that point, though. Rowan County Weather would like to take this opportunity to thank our advertising partners who helped make Rowan County Weather possible. Without them, we would not be here. Call it Closed International Realty. Alan Ellsworth is a client first, results driven individual. Alan is there to help you with all your real estate needs. For more information, you can email him at alan.ellsworth at callitclosed.com. You can give him a call, alanellsworth.callitclosed.com. And uh, you can also give him a call, 980 330 8401. Our friends at the Piedmont Baptist Church would love for you to join them on Sundays at 9 a.m., 11 a.m., and 6 p.m., on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. They're located at 5870 Wright Road, Kannapolis, and uh, they've got all kinds of different ministries that you can get involved in there as well, different groups of ages and things like that. For more information, visit their website. You see that at the bottom of the screen here. You can also uh, follow and like them on Facebook and Instagram with the handles you see at the bottom of the screen as well. Paul Roofing Solutions. If you think you've got some damage or repairs that need to be done to your roof, invite Kevin out there. Stick him on your roof. Give him a call, 980-643-4373. He'll be glad to help you get everything squared away and taken care of. 
If you're looking to move some big equipment and you need a trailer to get it done, KH Trailer Rentals is there to help you. For more information, visit their website. You can actually head over to RoanCountyWeather.com and just look on the right-hand side of one of our website pages there. You'll see the KH Trailer Rentals graphic like you see on the screen now. Just click on that. It'll take you directly to the KH Trailer Rentals website where you can get all the information. The China Grove Laundromat, it's located at 804 North Main Street, China Grove, North Carolina, open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They accept mobile payment with pay range, so if you don't have any uh, coins on hand, no worries, you can pay with your phone. Mitchell's Custom Fabrication, they offer services like welding, fabrication, powder coating, CMC cutting, milling, and more. For more information on services provided, check out their website, www.mitchellscustomfab.com. You can give them a call, 828-598-1160. They're located in Salisbury, North Carolina. Our friends at the Lee Street Theater are putting on a performance from now through March 4th on Fridays and Saturdays called Wait Until Dark. For more information and to purchase tickets, visit LeeStreet.org. Willowbrook Grounds, your hometown coffee company. They sponsor the coffee cast that you saw a moment ago. They're located on South Central Avenue in Landis, North Carolina. Stop by and try their latest seasonal flavor. It is a strawberry cream soda. They've got all kinds of great coffee there as well. Cold brews, uh, matchas, uh, lattes, you name it, it's it's there. Macchiatos, you can get anything you're looking for. Uh, you can also, while you're there, purchase uh, some merchandise. They have plants, they have uh, shirts, they have mugs, they have whole bean coffee, they have gift cards and more. And again, it's located at South Central Avenue in Landis, North Carolina. And when you walk out of Willowbrook Grounds, head a couple of doors down and check out Chuck's Trains and Hobby Depot located on South Central Avenue as well. He's got all kinds of great uh, memorabilia and collectibles for the hobby enthusiast in your life, from model trains to NASCAR to planes to rockets to Pokemon, you name it. It's all there at Chuck's Trains and Hobby Depot. Patterson Farms has the all-season passes on sale right now as the 2023 farm season is getting ready to start. You can purchase these passes one time, and they will get you into the farm unlimited times throughout the 2023 season. For more information, visit pattersonfarm.com. The Rufty Home Senior Center, adding life to years. They sponsor the bus stop forecast Monday through Friday when school's in session. Uh, for more information on all the services they provide seniors, check out one of those social media posts on the Rufty Home Senior Center bus stop forecast. There'll be a link in the post that you can click, and it'll take you directly to the Rufty Home Senior Center website where you can get all the details. If you're looking for great farm-to-table options uh, with grass-fed poultry or beef or eggs, anything like that, you can stop by and check out our friends at Evans Family Farm. They're located at 11180 NC Highway 801 in Mount Ola. Their farm store hours are Fridays from 2 to 6 p.m., Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. They've got all kinds of great merchandise there that you can purchase for some farm-to-table options. And they also offer some local home delivery as well, so you can certainly check that out. Spray Clean Power Wash. They offer services for residential and commercial uh, locations. They clean roofs, decks, patios, houses, driveways, fences, pool decks, gutter cleaning, and more. These guys are great. I had them out. I had Jeremy out the other day. He cleaned my home, and it looks fantastic. It almost looks like a brand new home, to be quite honest with you. Uh, so certainly check out their website uh, for all the details. And a good way to get there is to head over to RoanCountyWeather.com. Go to the events page. At the top of the events page, you'll see the Spray Clean Power Wash ad. Just click on it, and it will take you directly to their social media page where you can see all their previous uh, jobs they've taken care of and, and the changes and how things look when they got there to the time they left. It's fantastic. Morgan Well and Pump Incorporated, a family-owned business since 1948, located in the China Grove area. They're there to help you with all your well and pump needs. You can give them a call, 704-933-0479, and they'll be glad to help you out. Again, thank you to all those advertising partners who helped make Rowan County weather possible. Without them, we would not exist, so we certainly appreciate it. Please make sure to support them as well to help them stay around also. We've got an 80% chance of rain this morning. It's going to be kind of kind of patchy, uh, spotty, but it's out there. Uh, high of 55, low of 44. We could see some mist and drizzle as we go through the afternoon into the early evening. Uh, but again, things will start to clear out for us, especially if you're heading down to the Charlotte FC game tonight. We'll see mostly cloudy skies tomorrow, high of 61, low of 45. On Monday, mostly cloudy skies with a 20% chance of rain, high of 71, low of 53. Tuesday, sunny skies, high of 69, low of 53. 
On Wednesday, rain chances start to take off again for us with a 40% chance of rain, high of 66, low of 44. Thursday, a 60% chance of rain, high of 67, low of 55. And on Friday, a 60% chance of rain with a high of 55 and a low of 43. The forecast is sponsored by S.A. Sloop Heating and Cooling. Built on integrity, give them a call, 704-857-5684. You can visit them on their website, www.sasloop.com. Mention you notice they sponsor the forecast on Rowan County weather. They'll give you $25 off your first-time service call. If you're looking for ways to stay updated with Rowan County weather at any time or you want to get details on any of the advertising partners we have, or if you're a Charlotte FC fan and you want to catch up on some of the latest news, check out our website there. We've got all kinds of details there for you. Uh, you can also follow and like us on our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And you can check us out on cable television, WSRG TV in Salisbury. It's available on Hotwire Channel 394, Spectrum Channel 16. We'll keep you updated there as well. For now, enjoy your Saturday. And as always, thank you for following Rowan County Weather.